Welcome to a video on learning Twine. In this video I'm going to cover variables as part of the Snowman Story format. In Snowman, variables are based in JavaScript. They can be found in a global scope as part of other global objects or part of a special S object, shortcut for window state, for use in passages. Using the underscore JS library, which comes with Snowman, JavaScript can be used as part of any passage. Let's pause here and go back to the story map. Looking at the story map view, I'm going to pull up the contents of the passage at the beginning. And we see the use of the underscore template system here. Notice the less than, greater than down here. Defining the entire section right here as a template. That is, it can be used for defining JavaScript within the content of a passage. And it will be run as soon as it is encountered within a passage. Within this content we see three different lines of code and three different comments for this. The first of which sets up or uses a window.setup object. This is just a general recommendation when using JavaScript with the potential to be used across story formats, especially thinking of Sugarcube and Snowman, using a window setup object is a very good recommendation of first checking to see if it exists, if it does not, go ahead and creating it. Secondly, here we're setting a new property, one value to the string these words. Finally, we're using the S global object, setting its own property to those words. These are two different ways to create variables within Snowman. You can either create new global objects or use the existing S1, similar to how you would use variables in other story formats. Again, using the underscore template system, the percentage sign, less than percentage sign, percentage sign is greater than, to define JavaScript within that area. Coming back to this, and now going to another passage, we can see the sentence, using the template interpolation, we can make these words look like those words. Well, let's go pause and look at the content of that passage. Coming back to the story map view, now pulling up the passage editor for the passage named Another Passage, we see a different use of the underscore template system with variables, in this case interpolation, which is different than what we saw when we were just running code. Underscore supplies us with the ability to interpolate, that is, show the value of some variable. We use that with the equal sign in combination with the existing template functionality. So in this case, we could see the value of these variables and see the value of this other variable in both cases using the equal sign and what's called within underscore functionality interpolation or as a shorthand show the value of this thing. So these are two different ways to use variables here. Notice we established them in the first patch at the beginning and we've now used them in another passage. In each case we either created a new global object or use the existing S global object here. Another thing to note with the S global object is it doesn't exist until after anything that's placed in story JavaScript is run. That is, it exists after the context of using story JavaScript. So using the S window state shorthand is not a good idea for anything that may also use story JavaScript. So keep that in mind. In that case, the more global approach of creating, creating global objects is the best and recommended way to create variables or establish certain values previous to running anything in the passages. However, when moving passage to passage, the S object is actually the recommended because of its short single letter to create values that might be used passage to passage within the context of a story. This has been a review of the two different ways to approach variables in Snowman. Creating new global objects, like I had here for window setup and additional properties of whatever might be needed for those values, creating new variables as needed, or using the established window state shorthand of S to create new properties or values. In both cases, we're using the under, underscore functionality that's part of Snowman to either run as part of its template system, run JavaScript, arbitrary JavaScript within any passage, or its interpolation system using the equal sign with the template system to show the value of any variables within inline text in a passage, similar to how other story formats handle their own variables in the same way. Thanks for watching.